President, we have a situation. Once again. Hi, I'm Lou Luminick, Chief Film Critic of the New York Post, here with a review of Monsters vs. Aliens. Heavily touted as an industry breakthrough with 3D, DreamWorks Animation's tedious and unimaginative Monsters vs. Aliens really doesn't have a clue as to what to do with the technique. This lame riff on 50 sci-fi flicks doesn't immerse the audience in the tactile experience like Coraline or wow us by taking us to another world like Journey to the Center of the Earth. Instead, it's the same old one-dimensional storytelling that DreamWorks has used to increasingly mind-numbing effect in cartoons like A Shark's Tale and The Two Madagascars. Basically, they borrowed the plot of the 60s Japanese epic Destroy All Monsters, with the government recruiting a band of monsters to stop an alien invasion. Let's move out! This is San Francisco! This isn't far from my home! Oh, feel the wind on your antenna! Isn't this wonderful? I haven't been outside in 50 years. It's it's amazing out here. It's a little hotter than I remember. Has the earth gotten warmer? That'd be great to know that. That'd be a very convenient truth. Reese Witherspoon plays a character based on the attack of the 50-foot woman, and there are others based on the blob, the creature from the Black Lagoon, and the fly. Laughs are rather sparse, and what little visual inspiration there is borrows heavily from Pixar's The Incredibles and Monsters, Inc. Pixar has shown with astonishing regularity it is possible to make animated films that appeal to youngsters without boring anyone over the age of five out of their skulls. So, I'm giving Monsters vs. Aliens one star out of four. I'm Lou Luminick, and you can find my review of this and other movies at nypost.com. Don't worry, I won't let go! <laughs>